got to make sure to get the extra virgin olive oil. It's extra, not touched. And look, corn and shrimp in the chili. Are you kidding me? Okay. folks welcome to another video it is a bright and early 6 15 i got up at 4 a.m answered some comments uh got the car packed full of all the stuff i needed um i had went to the store yesterday to get some food to make some chili by the mississippi um, that is behind me uh, not the chili but the mississippi it is kind of chilly out here um speaking of that a mexican uh weather forecaster said chili today hot tamale okay but the Roberts family had wanted me to do a video out here. So I brought a fishing pole. I'm not sure what test it is, uh, but uh, we're going to test it out. I'm not sure how many line, how, how many tests the line is or pounds or whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm talking about it's too early for this crap, but uh, that's why we're here. So I'm going to get the stuff out, load it out there. By the time the sun comes up, I should be on the shores of the mighty, muddy Mississippi. I mean, there, go that way. A lot better now I got my hoodie on um, it'll be a lot simpler to cook right here look at that already has a little fire pit with a little bitty uh, makeshift grill bench to sit on nice scenic view over here but this is not I don't think what he wanted I think he wanted me to pretty close to the river so uh, gonna give him what he wants what she said on payday. Hey folks, I'm out here. It's about 6.35. Um, there's bad news and good news. Mostly good news because the bad news is there's no beach anymore. All the sand, uh, the water came up because it rained the last few days. So the water's all the way up to here. Good news is I guess I'll have to be all in the sand and get all my camera equipment sandy. Um, and the current is not as bad because the current's just right out there instead of all the way up here. So I can fish without a big 10 pound weight on it, a river weight. Uh, there's other stuff that you guys do not see that this is behind the scenes. What I'm showing you, not just a fishing pole and a camera and a cutting board and, and a pot. It's more to it than that. Let's, uh, give you a. Some good scenery here. Good scenery. Let's take a picture for the thumbnail, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. And here goes. Here goes the, the equipment. Okay. Yeah. Cutting boards, tripod, cast iron tripod for the fire. We got knives. We got cast iron skillets. We got aluminum foil. We got water. We got freaking a whole fishing bag. We got a cooler full of food. We got a camping chair. We have my coffee. We have a tarp. We have a new DeWalt 
battery powered chainsaw just in case we need to chop up some driftwood. Um, we have a, a Dutch oven. We have a poo bucket with some stuff in the poo bucket. Uh, not poo. Um, we have a good camera. We have the media bag with all the other camera stuff and my GoPros and, and tripods. We have fishing pole. We have a 24 piece cooking set. We have some more of the cooking items in here. I don't want to take off four or five items in there, so I just brought the whole bag. I have a new uh, uh, camping folding table, a really nice one, hopefully. We'll see if it works really well today. We got something to drink, we got some water to cook with and wash hands. A lot of food I bought and more food in that cooler. Uh, drone, just in case I used a drone, and a tripod. I probably missed a couple things, I might not have. But that is uh, a lot more to it than you think. Yes, in the cars over yonder. For you guys, it's well worth it. Uh, I'm going to pick today two fish first. I'm going to bring my GoPro with me. We're going to talk a little bit, maybe catch a fish. I just need one, okay? One fish is enough for this chili. I'm not going to try to take all the fish out of here for everybody else. So I'm just going to boil it down to one. No pun intended. Um, so let, let's get to that and then we can get to cook it later. Hey, well, I get my pole set up. I have the sheath on there so it doesn't uh, mess up everything in the car with the hooks and everything. It keeps everything together. I got some uh, Canadian night crawlers, A. Yes, and uh, I think they say A in Canada because there's three A's in Canadian. I'm not sure. Uh, but I want to take this time to, to, to appreciate Travis Roberts. Um, he goes as MC Rockstar on his uh, YouTube handle. So if you see him, thank him for this video. Uh, Travis wanted to make sure I said to his wife, Candace, um, he appreciates you very much. Um, he loves you and uh, he will get you that hoodie, hat, jacket, shirt, and whatever uh, you would like. Uh, as well as Ryder, his son Ryder. And I have to have two hands for this. Um, cut, 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 cut. There you go, Ryder. That's just for you. So he said he's uh, he. Travis says his son enjoys me when I do that. So uh, there you go, Ryder. And uh, let's get to cook. Uh, cut, cut, cut. There you go again, Ryder. Let's get to catch us a fish so we can get to cooking. That way. Okay, let's put this whole fatty on here. Okay, wish me luck.
All right, I'm all set up, guys. I got my new table. Anything you see on my videos, uh, please look in descriptions. I'll have the, the knives. You know, I'm unsupervised. You got to have the knives to juggle. This one here, I usually throw up, but last time I cut my finger almost off. So I'll, uh, I don't want to do that today. I don't want to put a little blood into the mix because I do have a special guest that pulled up on me and they're going to be uh, trying the chili out for the first time somebody can review other than just me. So somebody could probably spit it out and what? say it's nasty or say it's really delicious. So come on in, Danny. This is Danny. Uh, actually has a YouTube channel as well. What's your YouTube it's channel name? Danny Stone Outdoors. Danny Stone Outdoors. Um, and so please look in descriptions. I'll put it in the corner right there. Um, and uh, please check his channel out. You're going to see a lot more of this guy because we've already been talking. Uh, I know you're tired of seeing me. Uh, it's probably um, impossible, but uh, <laughs> if you ask me. But we're going to see, uh, see other stuff. We got to talking about different kind of um, uh, adventures and he likes to go all over. So what, what all do you do on your channel? Uh, I, I, mostly I focus on catfishing on the Mississippi River. We do travel. I do uh, some uh, surf fishing down in Florida on okay. occasion. Um, but man, I, I saw you down here and I was really excited today. I said, man, I'm, I'm always fishing the Mississippi River and now I got Brandon down here cooking chili. Look at this catch. Yeah. And I'm thinking, man, I mean, the fishing spot I'm at is probably not that great. But when you see somebody cooking chili on the bank, you go ahead and fish there, no matter if you're going to catch fish or not, because you know you're going to catch a bowl of chili. You know what I'm saying? There you go. It's so, enough to keep me here. Yeah, if we don't catch fish, we're going to catch some food. So I did throw a little pole out, and I'll show you right now as we're talking his poles, and I will show you my pole. Uh, but uh, he does have some massive, <laughs> what's that 15-footer there? The 15-footer is an offshore angler uh, trophy class power pole. And we've got two of those out. We've got an Akuma Tundra 13 footer. And of course we got the Mad Cats rod down there, a 10 footer is the smallest rod we're running today. That's but bigger than my biggest rod right out here. I, she didn't say that. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> one of the things about my channel you'll see is I, I do a lot of fishing on the Mississippi River, but I use surf casting gear that you would normally see on the beaches down in the Gulf of Mexico and stuff like that. And it's, it's one of the things that kind of, you know, the, Pulls synonymous with my yeah. name yeah okay. you know uh i, I, I got, kind of got started with the whole thing of, of the big surf rods and a few people have followed suit but it, well they saw you they catching all, all them fish yeah i might try to put some clips in if you send them to me later i'll put some clips in the, the catfish uh and everything that he had caught i'm just used to the just uh just a regular old catfish you know and you got all these different ones you showed me today. My, I really don't feel like a man now because I didn't even know what the hell kind of catfish you, what kind of they were they? Uh, big blue cats. So my biggest uh, uh, blue cat that I've caught on the Mississippi River on that on that 15 foot rod is a 70 pound blue. And uh, I've got several really unique fish that you'll never see ever again in your life. They're called piebald catfish, which is, uh, they're basically like a uh, uh, an albino, uh -huh. but they'll have black patches on them. And one of my coolest ones, was caught just upstream the, from here. The question mark. And it's got a question mark on the top of okay. its skull. It's a solid white fish, a catfish, uh -huh. with a black question mark on its head. And I've got the video of me catching that fish. I've got pictures of that fish. One of my favorite fish of all time, even though it wasn't my biggest, it was still one of the most unique. Uh -huh. And I love that catfish. He probably caught them because usually I throw mine back. There it's, you go. It's called humility. I, I, you don't <laughs> see me catching them, I just... Toss them back and then he catches them. And we did release all those fish. Oh yeah? The 70 pounder and, and, and the, that fish that's got the question mark on his head, he was released a hundred yards up from here. So he's still he's out still there out a little there. bigger okay. today. All right, it, well, um, yeah, the blue blue cats and just the regular old Mississippi cats, uh, that's all I knew about. But then you show me the pictures and I need to get me a better fishing pole probably. So, well, I'd be love. I'd love to meet you up out here with you and right. fish, man. We, I we, mean, we will do that, and I'll do more fishing today. I would just throw a pole out just to have, some, you know, just kind of like because I'm at the Mississippi out there. It's kind of muddy down there, the muddy Mississippi. So it's my excuse that I, that's why I brought shrimp and stuff. Right. Or if you caught a fish, we could maybe put some fish in here. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna do this. I'll get back with him in a minute. Um, I'm gonna watch him fish and get some techniques. Maybe I can. Uh, pull some fish out of here another day, and uh, we're gonna try some. We're gonna try some food. Oh man, I'm looking forward to it. That's right. Hey, I'm not even worried about the fishing anymore. I'm oh, waiting yeah? on that chili. All right, there we go. All right, let's get it going. Nice meeting y'all. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you.
typically he argued yesterday. No, he's a pain in the butt and crazy as a balloon. <laughs> what Daryl is. What you see is what you get. And unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I would say the water's too wet right here. <laughs> Okay guys, we're out here. We have the fire going. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on that in a minute, but it's right on time because I got everything chopped up. Um, I got the shrimp and stuff set up over there that I'll do last with the uh, shrimp scampi sauce. Bit fancy with it, just because of Robert's family. Um, I have the scallions, the bell peppers, the purple onions, and the jalapenos chopped up. Uh, we're gonna put the cannonilla and beans, the butter beans, the great northern beans with some lump crab meat. I went with the, I wrote the, the price on it because I couldn't believe it. $5.38 for the Worcestershire sauce. I've never said that wrong in my life, um, but Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Um, they do have dollar bottles, but I went fancy for this one. I put some, uh, then we'll put some seafood stock in there. So let me get all this in there and uh, we're going to get started. Let me put the tripod right here so I can show you dumping, dumping the food in.
You got to make sure to get the extra virgin olive oil. It's extra, not touched. It's time to make the Jiffy corn muffin mix. I'm going to put a egg, a third cup of milk, and this in this container. Mix it up and then pour it into the pan. I'm not sure how this is going to go on the fire. It might burn, so don't judge me on this one. Uh, we're just going to do what we can. It's the thought that counts. don't have milk but hey this is white I did spray the pan with some uh, extra virgin organic olive oil. I sprayed that, got fancy with the olive oil there and got the, the better brand of Berto's.
set, set it, it, and forget it. All right, guys, uh, Danny is not doing any luck out here. I think the fish are smelling this good food, but he's sticking around to, to taste it out. Uh, but what I'm going to tell you right now is uh, if you know about cornstarch, you want to label it if you're riding in the car so they believe you. You want to put not coke on it. Uh, but I'm doing some heavy whipping cream uh, with some cornstarch. You want to do that in another bowl. You don't want to put it right into your mixture or it'll lump up. It may lump up, so you want to just take that precaution. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put the thicker in there. I'm going to put the shrimp scampi sauce in another pan. Get the shrimp going. Put that in there since uh, we didn't catch any fish. So we do got some uh, some fishness in there, okay? That's a word. Okay, you want to add that when it's boiling. I'm going to add the cheese right now. I'm not lactose intolerant today. And the bacon. guys this is done I'm gonna take this off put the shrimp on here and that's not gonna take long at all we're gonna get to eating talk to Danny one last time so he can go to his other spot and catch some fish set this in for a minute this will stay hot this will stay hot for a long time in that cast iron skillet okay let's put this right on top of there we're good to go I'm gonna put the shrimp scampi.
to make it perfect. So you guys be looking for that video to come out on March 4th. Okay guys, we're going to plate this up for Danny and myself and we're going to get to eating. And uh, he's going to give an honest review. If it tastes like crap, I want him to say it tastes like crap. But uh, this is the first time I tried it, so I'm going to throw that out there right now. But there you go. It does look delicious. You eat with the eyes first. So let's, uh, let's go over here. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to garnish it. And if you guys know me, um, I like to put uh, saute the vegetables a little bit to get them softened up. And then I like to put a little, little crunch to it. So I put a little fresh on top. So I'm going to garnish it with just a little bit. Uh, put a little bit of scallions on the side just in case you might want those. Um, okay. Toss a little lemon on there. And I'm going to get the shrimp. Okay, there's the shrimp. Uh, you gotta have a little green parsley on the side. There you go, a little side salad that nobody's gonna eat. And I did make a little concoction if he wants a little little Worcestershire and some uh, shrimp sample to kind of juice it up a little bit with some lemon juice in there. I'm gonna garnish with the Texas toast. And since the core brand's not ready, this would be a good thing to, to, to garnish it with there. Okay, and what else? Am I missing something? I think that should be all. Let me take a fancy picture for the thumbnail. And I'll, whoa, right here. Okay, let's go over here and talk to Danny and see how this is. Oh, oh yeah there we go oh man all right guys we're here with danny he worked up an appetite uh he got a whole bunch of bites folks a whole oh, bunch yeah. he ripped that he almost ripped the lips <laughs> off a couple of them but we're just lying today it is sunday sometimes allowing the yeah almost the last sunday of the month but we're going to try this out i told him to be very honest it's the first time i've ever cooked it I t i've been sitting here smelling this with my mouth watering the whole time and i'll tell you what i couldn't wait to get into this Never had a seafood chili, so I'm gonna call this a fisherman chili without fish. It has oh shrimp in there. Oh my god. Dude. It's uh it's it's it is good. Oh man. I, um I didn't think it was gonna taste good to have a white chili kind of thing with uh with the beans I put that in it. That is unbelievable. And the cheese, they always say, like in, in the past, they say, don't ever put cheese with fish. Oh, God, But they yeah. threw that out the window, and I'm glad they did. Yep, cause... Out the window. Oh, yeah. And I made a little bit of a little bit of nip thing just to kind of, if you want a little bit extra lemon, I'm not sure if you like it like a, a, a bite, but it like has that. Worcestershire in there. Some people say W sauce. Uh, yep. Or Worcestershire but, sauce. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> but it does give it a little kick. Let's give that a try. Now this time, this time is not really a fishing video for me, but I'm uh, hopefully I can be doing some fishing videos with Danny. Yeah. And uh, if I go fishing and not do the cooking, it'll be more of a good fishing video for you guys. But when I'm doing all this in one pop, it takes a lot to do it, videos. It's a lot you know? of work. It's a lot of work. He, he saw a little bit what I'm doing out here, and I had a drone going when I saw two barges going. I missed my opportunity of the two barges meeting like a sword fight, you know, out there. So, I, But I did chase a barge down, chase a boat down, and um, he, he was going live with his people doing a... He's actually on a tournament that I'm actually screwing up, ain't I? <laughs> no, no, no. It was just a, a, a fun tournament today. Okay. We had the serious tournament yesterday. And uh, that's all over with. They're gonna announce the winners on all the all the giveaways and stuff on that at the uh, Catfish and Crappie Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. On, Louisville. Uh, yeah, Louisville. 
And uh, that's going to be on uh, the, the 23rd and 24th of this month. After uh, this video comes out. Right. So it's already it, happened. It, it didn't happen before so this. So you yeah. already, you got nominated. I got nominated for Bank Angler of the Year again. I, I got nominated last year and won that. And I'm up for a nomination again this year. So okay. uh, we're hoping to do that. But man, let's get back into this because... Uh, <laughs> Well, you know I what? can't think about anything else looking at this and eating this. This is He pulled up amazing. on the right fishing spot. Oh, and, man. Um, now, I got to get in one of these shrimp. And please, please check his channel out. So, so the tournament, what do you got to do for... I heard you say something about points. You don't... See how fat I am? I don't throw fish back. But if you <laughs> throw fish back, I heard you get points. The tournament they did yesterday was called the Whisker Bowl. And it was based on like scoring for a football game. You catch a fish, it had to be a minimum of 16 inches long. That's what she said. <clears throat> okay, a 16 inch fish is six points, which is equal to a touchdown. Now, if you release that fish unharmed, oh, it's a field you get goal. the extra point. Oh, I got you. What if, oh, you have to catch the fish. I'll say, what if you don't catch the fish and you don't let catch it go? Fish, you don't get you a don't point. You don't get the three points. Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Brandon, this is out of the world good dude and it's the first time i cooked it people think that i'm lying to them about oh this is good you know how no, the chefs on I'm tv you. Oh this has God. actually surprised me i didn't have high hopes with with the chili and i think uh, i'm gonna thank the roberts family so travis roberts sponsored this and he gave me money for this i went kind of crazier um than i should have but I, well you know what i shouldn't have because i met you and i got shrimp yeah. in here so it's uh it's something that outside the box, and that's if they know this channel, they, they know me. I do stuff outside the box. And I do have to say right now, people think that you're eating stickers. And um, I actually took them out. I showed him. <laughs> he I, did I, take I cut, the stickers. I cut it out. I cut he it took up. the stickers out. For you guys, I cut it up and then put it back in on top just to show you guys. But I did take them out because I do have a guest here. And the bacon pack, I did take that out, okay? So please, please, please but, don't uh, do nothing I, mean, I do. This would, I mean... You, to get the recipe for this and cook it at home, man, I'm telling you what, it's the best chili I've ever eaten. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing recipe. But uh, cooking out here on the bank of the river yeah. and the smoke from the wood and stuff. He was over little, here dying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's that little smoky flavor in there, too. Kind of add a little extra to it. But yeah. I'd say, I think this it's is just, a, and the weight. I think it's the weight, too. Even though it's good, I think the weight of you just like, hey, I'm, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. That smells good. And I think you already ate a little bit in your brain, like, oh, that's good. And, like, eating with eye and stuff. And I try to make it pleasantly, um, you know, um, eye appealing as well. But if you guys want to try this out, I really, I really didn't write the recipe down, but uh, maybe I can... I don't know. You saw the video. Just rewind the video and see what I put in there, guys. And oh, that's I'm exactly what I do. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna shut this down. I want I want to thank Danny here. I appreciate Brandon, it very much. You. And you're definitely gonna see him in another video. And if you want to definitely see him before that, check the link. Go to his channel and ask him if he won that. Okay. Because right <laughs> now he did not. Right now, but I'm nope. thinking he will. So yeah, we'll find out. Uh, I'll, I'll post. Uh, would you Would you post this video on the fourth? On the 4th of March. I'm going to be in the comments there, and I'm going to tell you if we won Bank Angler of okay, the Year Okay, and I'm a, I'm, you know what? I'm going to pin your comment. So look Perfect. for the pin comment uh, maybe a couple hours, a few hours down the road. As soon as he gets, he has a real job, so uh, he does not do like me all day and f sit on the bank and cook for fishermen. Yeah. So, But uh, when you see the pin comment, you can ask them. Just nature's pepper, folks. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get to eating here and shut up and talk to you later. So. Yep. Thanks, Thanks again. guys. Thanks again, Robert's family. Mm -hmm. Candace, and I have to stop this with Ryder. Cut, 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 cut. Okay. He said Ryder, his son, liked that when I did it, so. <laughs>
since the bottom's not done, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. Be back in five minutes. I can. Hey, I caught him. I caught him getting seconds. <laughs> okay. Let's try, let's try this out. See if this even burnt on the other side. Well, this stuck to the pan, but I think it is done. Let's go. Let's break off a small piece of it. Right there. Just a small piece. Okay, guys, there's there's cornbread. We're going to get going, um, but talk to you later. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, Danny, thank you very much. Yep. Got to go. Yeah, I pulled it in. I caught Cousin It.